What's going on? It is Nogginator here, back with another video. And if you're watching this on a Monday, make sure to like the video. Just kidding, we're doing an RX-7 build today. It's going to be a Drifterino, as we shall call it. Um, I figured out that drifting is kind of not easy in this game, and then I realized I was using the wrong parts. You're not actually supposed to use drift parts on a drift car. You're supposed to use showcase suspension and drag tires and apparently that is how you get the good star ratings on the speed zones or speed traps or <coughs> drift zones um so yeah i think that'd be uh, the easiest way to do it i still don't know how much you know horsepower i need and stuff i'm gonna guess probably around 500 uh but i also need to make sure we have Break it to drift on. Alright. Where are we going? It's already pretty drifty right off the bat, so uh, we'll make sure we put on that good suspension. Okay, so I had drift suspension on it already, so yeah, showcase will go for pro showcase suspension, and then I guess differential will just keep stock, and then tires, we want to get drag tires somewhere. Do we not have drag tires? Okay, well I guess we're going for super drag tires. And then we got a sport turbo in here already. So I feel like that's fine. Let's just go with a, uh, let's just go with an elite or a super ECU. And let's go for an elite cooling or super cooling, I guess, whatever. And, um, what else do we need okay, here? Okay, so we ride around here. Yep, 60. So let's and do... They always make the rim super tiny. Elite plus exhaust. Make them look weird. I don't know why. Okay, that should be fine. 400 horsepower. And we got... So there the we go. We got our, uh, our rims parts now. On here. And we'll so make sure the paint the RX-7 green. The body. To match the car. rims. So or at least first something off, I'm looking that will match the rims. Side skirts. and Rims. A little too big. Uh, let's just go with the rocket bunny. I think we're just gonna rocket rotos. bunny kit this thing. Some rotiforms. I mean, let's honest. do it. Let's just go for. A I don't actually have like a rocket bunny kit so right 60 now. 60 out of so 30. The rotiforms. Probably my, custom my best forged. option. So, I think that's just what we're gonna do. And we gotta make sure. I'll mix and match some parts together big. because why not? I never do canards anyway. Uh, splitters. Honestly, I'm just gonna go without a splitter. The headlights. I'll just keep down. The hood, that hood's be looking good. We'll keep the windows the same, all that good stuff. Rear fender's gonna go with the rocket bunny. That looks nice, right over the gas cap too. <laughs> How about that diffuser, where's the rocket bunny diffuser? Okay. I might just keep the wing the way it is, I'm not sure just yet. Exhaust, rocket bunny exhaust, nah. Let's go with the Origin Lab. That looks pretty big and pretty dank as well. Let's got license plate bumper. Uh, no. Not sure about that one, Chief. The Rocket Bunny is that one. To be honest, I like the rim the way, or the, I like the, uh, the spoiler the way it is already. Tail lights can go ahead and black them out. That's pretty cool. And I think that's what our car's gonna look like. Let's go ahead and paint it up here with some green. That's gonna look real nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got green on green on black, and I think that looks pretty good. It's only our second green car that we built. The first one, which you can see right in the back there, is that. Aim GGTR and then 3350Z I didn't actually build. That was already one on there. But otherwise, that shall be that. Let's go ahead and stance it for peak drifting. Full camber for pink dr or, uh, peak drifting as well. And the exhaust sound, I'm just going to keep the same, I think. Yep. We're just going to keep the same for that. Not going to mess with it. So let's go ahead and try out some drift zones now. And hopefully, this will be a car that's good enough to do these drift zones with. I feel like it's not like completely oversteering a lot, which is the issue I had with the uh, other other cars. Hey, you okay? Oh, yeah, 
Come on. Okay. 30,000. Or 30,000. Which is good. So, next one. Let's find one here. We got 30,000 that we need for country tire smoke. Alright. So, let's try to get... Oh, oh wait. Well, this is a very quick drift then. How am I supposed to... Okay, I guess this is a downhill drift. <laughs> Say, how am I supposed to do this uphill? Oh, it's not over yet. But yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh... Do this uphill. Or downhill, I mean. Cause I'm just not gonna get it uphill. We got 16,830. Let's try downhill, though. Alright, one big drift. That would be the ideal situation, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, I do prefer Forza for its drifting mechanics, though. I mean, that's, that's no doubt on that one. I don't think that's 30. Oh, my. Seriously? I need 500 more. We're just going to do the downhill. There's no reason in doing the uphill one. Okay, maybe I should do it uphill, because I kind of just drifted pretty good right there. Alright, let's go downhill. Just do like a normal drift first. It's not trying to hold too much. Oh, oh, okay. So that was like, what, 13,000, I guess? Yes, 31,000, okay. Back, that's what I sounded like. Uh, what is this? No, this is a long jump. Another drift zone right here, 50,000. That sounds interesting. Is that another one in San Dino Ranches? Not sure. All right, let's see if this one's any easier. Maybe we'll get it on the first try. Okay. Just bar barely tapping that brake. That gets us good on these, but I'm not gonna get it. 45. I mean, definitely a lot easier though. I mean, I had the wrong parts on. I could definitely tell that because it's quite a bit easier to drift now. Oh wow, I didn't get any points for that. This is gonna be terrible. 44k, alright, well that's two stars at least. Let's go ahead and try this one now, 75 grand. Alright, we have made it to the drift zone. Let's do it, final drift zone of the video, hopefully I can get it. Going uphill though, so it's definitely not gonna be any easier. So I'll do an uphill run and a downhill run by Mike it. I think I need 70 grand for this. Yeah, drifting. Still not my forte, but I'm getting a little bit better at it. My first need for speed game. So, give me a break here. Said so I've become quite a good drifter in Forza. Like to the point where, you know, I can hold drifts and get three stars on drift zone super easily but we we're actually pretty close on that one said so six okay so we only missed it by 12,000 that was uphill I feel like uphill is easier than downhill for some reason even though it's not but I don't know I feel like I'm getting good scores on the uphill portions but let's try downhill oh no never mind that's a lot it's a lot quicker but it didn't give us that many points there we go Little proximity bonus. Oh yeah. 
See, I feel like I'm going down the drift zone too quick and it's not giving me uh, as many points for the speed. Oh, my 67 grand. Come on. Okay, we'll do it one more time. We must get the Flamingo for good luck, though. Alright, let's try it one more time. Can we beat 67,000? That is the question everybody wants answered. Not really, but they're gonna get it answered. Okay. 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 It's 20k in the bag. Oh my 50,000. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to jump off this cliff. See you guys next time and peace.